Oh, we gotta try it this way again. Oh, you can see all those shoes. Hey, go! You got shoes. Had it. I can't believe you picked these up after. Yeah, we might just be able to stay this one. The company did come out and say that they mistakenly did that, but we might just be listening to this one. Hey guys, it's Kaylee and Nikki, and as promised, we are back with the rest of our Ben's Outlet haul. Um, if you're not familiar with the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Ben's, um, it's a place where you can pay by the pound. So typically you can get stuff pretty cheap, but you do have to do a lot of work and digging because you're literally digging in a bin. Everything's thrown together, nothing's on hangers, and you gotta find treasure, but... We like doing it because we can pick up some really good items for cheap. And in today's haul, we've got a lot of shoes, hard goods, um, a couple bags, and some other accessories that we'll show you. These are the only thing that are not Goodwill outlet in this haul. I actually paid up for these. I paid $15 at a regular Goodwill, about $15, $14.15. They do need quite a bit of cleaning but I did look up this exact style and it was doing really well. I think I can sell these for maybe about $70. I have to look into them more and see and then see how much we can clean them up. But they are a pair of uh, Nike Air Jordans and they are a pretty good size, size 12. So um, will require a little bit of work, but I do think that it will be worth the investment. It might even be more than 70, but we'll see. I have, I did see these exact ones sell for quite a bit. These here are Sorel boots. Um, so these were called um, Slim Boots, I believe. Um, and I found these yesterday at the Goodwill Bins. They do need some cleaning up. They've got some dirt and stuff on the bottom of them. But other than that, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Um, I found these exact boots listed online yesterday using the style name or style style number and they were retailing for not retailing shit. they are reselling reselling not reselling because that no reselling for fifty dollars ish what size are they did you say these are a size six sorel is a great brand to pick up especially moving into fall and winter so these are a pair of used birkenstocks um, the leather's still in great condition and the tread is actually pretty decent. It's just the footbed. A lot of people don't pick these up because the footbeds are dirty. Um, these are size 42. I don't know what that translates to, um, but dirty or not, footbeds naturally get dirty in Birkenstocks. People's feet mold to them. And for some reason, people still buy them. Like in the worst condition, people flip them online for really good money. So, um, I will probably at least get 40 for those. I gotta do some more research, even with them dirty, and I'm not going to clean them either. I'm just gonna list them as is. Um, extremely high sell to rate. Don't know what else to say. It's disgusting, but they'll sell. I was just giving Kaylee crap for these Allbirds. So she found these at one of the Goodwill bins as well. Um, <clears throat> these, I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with. So they are a men's size 11. They are, I think, Y. Is that what WL does that? Or are they supposed to be like women's large? Because that wouldn't make sense either. I don't know. We'll have to look that up. So we don't know. But I know men's large, or men's 11. And then we'll have to look at this. But I think it stands for Y. We'll have to really look that up. Uh, we probably, will probably list these on Poshmark. Since they gave her a Vero for no reason. So, but... Allbirds is always, <laughs> Ashley smiles in the background, like, <laughs> but Allbirds always do really, really well as far as resale as well. Can you tell me comp price on these? I cannot. We, that, well, I'll be able to look up the style name based on the numbers on the inside. I have not done that yet, but in the past, men's Allbirds do really well. I pretty much pick up Allbirds all day long. It's just that we won't be listing them on eBay now, probably because of what happened. Um, gotta be very very careful so just Poshmark and I do that with some higher end brands too if I'm worried about them being fake usually I'll send them to the real real if the real world doesn't accept them then I'll just list them on Poshmark because I am not worried about my account getting shut down there but I am on eBay next up I'll just show these both at the same time I did also not look up this exact style but I will look it up 
at the same bins that I found the Allbirds and the Birkenstocks, I found these men's Doc Martin, clearly by the same person because they're the same size and the same style, but uh, black and brown. Really excellent condition. It, they feel like they've barely been worn. They are a men's size 12. Actually, probably is the same person that donated the Allbirds. Um, these are called Coronado, is the style name on the inside. Doc Martens, almost anything sells great for us, especially in men's. The only thing that I have to do is they have these gel pads on the back. So I'm going to have to rip those off because I doubt um, somebody wants to buy them with those. If they do, they'll probably get their own. Don't know how much those are going to sell for. I would guess at least $40, um, but at the bins, really great. We found these super cute little Crocs yesterday. So I always love finding kid stuff just because I'm a mom and I love finding them. But these are junior size two. Um, and these are actually mismatched. So when we picked them up yesterday, we weren't 100% sure if they were supposed to be a set or they weren't. Um, but it actually ended up working out for them, which was really cool. Um, they, again, are Mickey Mouse. You can see where they have the Mickey Mouses all around the sides of them. Um, they also have the little holes that have the mouses on them um which i think is really cool as well um i know kaylee looked at companies of what these were yesterday we need to look into them more because first of all i looked up kids disney crocs and the sell through it was really good but because i believe those are mismatched I don't know what we're going to price them for. Some of them are going for $25. Some of them are going for like $60. I don't know. We also need to give them a good scrub. Um, I'm going to guess we could probably sell them $35 to $40. That's just my gut feeling. Um, but we'll definitely do some more research. Crocs though, guys. They're super lightweight. We pick them up at the bins. Sometimes we even pick them up retail if they're in really excellent condition. I don't know why people are passing on Crocs. Even no. even where the tread, now I'm not telling you to pick up really trashed Crocs, but even where the tread on those, like, you know, they are a little bit worn, they still sell. Um, and quickly, the, the, I mean, there's a Crocs craze, okay? They're going, they're going great. And Crocs does more than just um, those. Those are like the original look, but I mean, they're also selling like sandals and stuff. Nikki and I both have a pair. Nikki's got her Crocs. <laughs> I go barefoot everywhere, so I had to actually go get my Croc. But they're so cute. And like, they're so stylish. And that's like a lot of times they have heels and all kinds of things that you'll like pick something up and you won't even know it's a Croc at first. So definitely check them out. Yeah, I have not found any of the newer style like what we currently own but I would assume that over the next year or so actually probably moving into winter people are going to be donating their summer stuff so even if it doesn't look like Crocs if it's got the like stretchy rubbery material I would look at them because as soon as the new stuff starts coming out I'm snatching it up because I guarantee it's going to flip quickly um but still the original ones do good as well but people People love their Crocs and they wear them out. Um, and even, again, I, I'm not going on record saying to pick up dirty old worn out Crocs, but in our experience, even ones with significant wear are still selling. So um, we definitely look for Crocs pretty often and they're pretty easy to clean. I mean, they're a quick wipe down with a wipe and you're good to go. Um, is it my turn? Yeah, you're up. Okay, so as we move into fall and winter, I would definitely keep your eye out for uh, slippers and or like moccasin kind stuff in a couple different brands. Main one being a uh, second one, L.L. Bean. Does really well also with the real fur on the inside. So that's what these have. They are, are in really, honestly, really great condition. The tread's like barely worn. Um, the only thing about these and the reason I think people did not pick them up at the bins because they were like sitting right there for the taking is because they are a very small size. So these are a women's size six. I thought they were kids, honestly, but it says women's on the inside. Women's size six. Um, so that's probably why someone did get them, but I'm picking them up because I know that L.L. Bean real first slippers do well. Um, we'll look up the exact style, but... 
I honestly don't know. It's it, we're just now coming into colder weather, so people haven't been buying up any slippers, and I don't think I even currently have any they've all sold. Mm -hmm. So it has been a while since I have found and sold them, but I'm gonna guess maybe like forty for these. Mm -hmm. Check our closet and the eBay store. We'll figure it out. She's beating me with shoes. <laughs> Um, what do you want next? I'll take this one because I like it. So, if you know purses, which if you know me, is my favorite, there is 31. There's kind of a logo right here. It's kind of hard for me to show you. But um, 31 is a um, kind of a resale company brand. It has direct sales. This is a like pull behind or wheel bag. Um, it's almost like a suitcase, it's like a, a wheeled duffel bag. Um, and I don't know the exact print name um, of this print. I'm sure I can ask somebody who could probably tell me. Um, but it does have the typical duffel bag handles on top. It does also have the pull out handle. So if you want to wheel it behind you. Um, so Kaylee checked this out for comps yesterday and it's selling anywhere between 40 and $80. So, and that was for the exact same bag, the exact same print. So, um, this literally looks like it's in brand new condition. Um, if you actually like look at the wheels, like it doesn't even look like they've even been drug anywhere yet. So, um, I have a feeling we'll be able to get a decent amount out of this. So always pick up 31. If you can check the prints, check the style and see if it's worth it. We'll probably go middle tier, like 50 bucks for that. And it is honestly quite large. I was worried about the weight of the bins, but it honestly doesn't weigh that much. We've maybe max spent $5 on it, probably flip it for 50. Um, it'll probably cost quite a bit to ship, but we were willing to pay it. There's a good sell through rate for that one. This was one of my most exciting finds at the bins. Um, there's actually not a lot of info about this specific bag, but I just have a great feeling about it. So this is by Carbon to Cobalt, which we love to pick up in clothing. I have never come across a leather bag. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of information about Carbon to Cobalt leather bags online, but this is like a perfect on-trend style. So it may look, you may be like, wow, that looks really distressed, but that's the point. You, I mean, this is gonna do really well. Um, so this is a soft, supple leather, feels very high quality, kind of um, distressed looking, I guess, men's messenger bag. Um, there are a couple little marks on it and the inside, I probably need to vacuum out a little bit, but this style, if even if it wasn't carbon to cobalt, I would have still picked it up with it being real leather. I think I'm gonna list this one somewhere between I don't know. I might even go over $100. I wanted to say 50 to 100, but I'm gonna do some more research on Google. Um, but at least 50 for this bag, and I think it'll flip very quickly. Keep your eye out for men's leather messenger bags, regardless of brand, um, can do very well. Last but not least, we found a Target bag. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so this was actually in the bag section and one of the things we love to do is like dig into pillowcases or dig into bags um, that people haven't really looked into yet. And we found, when I say we, I mean Kaylee found a bunch of suspenders. That actually wasn't in the bag. It was scattered throughout the bin. I oh, grabbed the bag. Okay. I love it. With the cart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she did not find these in a bag. She found them in the bin, but she picked up the bag to take them all with them. So this is a Trafalgar um, suspender set. Um, and then there's also some in here that are from Brooks Brothers. And when I say there's some, like we found quite a few of them. There's even more over there. So you can see there's quite a few. Um, so Kaylee actually found way more than what is in that bag. Um, but we decided that, well, I keep saying we, it's you. It's all you. It's all her. It's always been her. It's a mutual decision. <laughs> she decided that it, it's worth being a little bit more picky on making sure that they didn't have any paint marks, any scratches, any real wear and tear on them. So she spent time really going through them and fine tuning them, making sure they were all good. 
Um, and she said that there were some of them online that were up to like 45 and $50 just for the suspenders. So pre-owned, pre right? So um, definitely worth looking into. People skipped all over them, probably one, because they were scattered and they didn't want to take the time. Two, because they were on the bottom of all the purses and they didn't want to take the time. Sometimes the best things you find are the things that are hidden in bins where they really shouldn't be. Um, so definitely worth always checking those items out in the bottom. Um, and maybe you'll find a Holy Grail item like Kaylee's suspenders. Yeah, I don't, so I will definitely like look up the colors and everything. But one thing I did want to mention is that these are all leather ended suspenders, which is higher end. Um, there Isn't are like that fleece thing too. Yeah, I gotta look into that. I don't know if they all have that or what, but yeah, the logo's on the back. Um, <laughs> but if you look up Brooks Brothers Men's Suspenders, this self rate is amazing, first of all, for pre-owned. And they're selling, I mean, I didn't go through all of them because there was a lot, but like I think the lowest I saw one going for was like $25 for a pre-owned one. And then like she said, you know, there are some that go for like, 40, 50, 60. So we'll definitely keep an eye on it so we don't miss any profits, but these are gonna be so easy to list. I'm actually gonna photograph them today and we'll just do a flat lay. Um, and the listings will be super easy. We'll be able to copy drafts. Like she said, I honestly don't know how many are in here. There's probably only like maybe 12 to 15. I actually found like 30 to 40. And once I started finding Brooks Brothers ones, I grabbed every single one in the bags area and everyone else just left them which is shocking to me and then i went through them at the cart so that nobody else would grab them um there were a lot that had like paint marks on them i don't know if that happened at the bottom of the bin or if that you know was just the person that had them i don't know but i was very careful it would have been very easy i feel like to just take them all pay for them and then come back and I would have ended up throwing at least half of them away. So um, I was very selective. And there was also two Trafalgar, which is the first one she showed you. Um, I only ended up getting one of those. That one in particular, I think will sell at least for $50. That brand and suspenders was doing really well. Unfortunately, I only found two of them and one was damaged. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely suspenders with leather ends look them up because both of those brands have an amazing sell through rate i wouldn't have picked them up even with uh solds being as high as they were if they didn't have a good sell through rate and both of those brands were amazing so we have a whole bag full of them super easy to list i'm really excited about that um lots of profits for little work so that's what i'm talking about i like easy money me too <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so that is it for our Goodwill Bins Outlet Haul. This was collective. If you haven't already, go back and see our clothing haul. Zuh. I think I'm gonna split it into two. Clothing hauls, um, which were also part of this bins haul. We got a lot of stuff. We were there for like five to six hours total, I would say, um, but found a lot of great stuff. We maybe spent 50 to $60 for, for all the hauls that we've showed you. So, good profits. All right, guys, so we're going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified as new content goes live. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Vlog. <laughs> Can you see it? I can see it. Alright, I'm getting ready to close.